Kayla with Vacuum Cleaner Market, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about our newest Mila coffee makers. Um, so we have the CM6350 here, and we have the CM5300 here. So I'm gonna go over a little bit about the differences between the two, and then we're gonna go more in depth with this one and make actual coffee. Um, so we'll start with what it comes with out of the box. So the CM6350, you are gonna get an extra little hose. So you have this one that's already pre-attached and the extra one. You're gonna get a little scooper for your grounded coffee. You're getting cleaning tablets. And then your descaling tablets for cleaning. Your two manuals. And then you also get your flask for your milk. And then as for the 5300, you get one of the tubing, three manuals, your cleaning tabs, and then your descaling tabs. For both of these models, they do have the exact same functions. Um, both of them can be programmed to your user, so you can add your name, customize your drinks how you want them. So if you want your cappuccino extra dry, you can do so. Um, both of these models do have the foaming milk, but they do have different systems. So the CM6350, you have your milk flasks that comes with your Mila, plus your tubing. Whereas the 5300 does not come with the extra cup, but you can use one of your own cups. I'm using this glass. And you would just click that back in or push that into the um, cup, add your milk, and it would flow through the exact same way. Um, now you can purchase those flasks se separately if you would like. And you can also, for both of these models, you can do um, full pots of coffee or multiple cups of coffee. So if you have a big event or friends come over and they all want coffee, you can put two cups for both of these and fill them up. Um, so now the 6350 does have a water spout, whereas the 5300 does not. Um, both of them do move up and down, depending on the size of cup that you have. This one does too, it just, it's just a little bit hidden. It's right underneath here, it goes up and down. And then for cleaning purposes, um, I'm gonna show you on this one. So if you pull this guy out, this is where your coffee grounds are gonna be stored and your extra water with the filtered um, grinded coffee beans. This is recommended to be cleaned every um, week or so. I would probably check it every day just to make sure. Um, it does remind you after, I believe it's six or seven cups to go ahead and empty it out so that it doesn't overfill. And then on your side of the machine, this guy right here opens up. Both of these machines are the exact same for cleaning purposes. They both have this compartment in the front compartment. So this guy right here is your little spout holder. And then right here is where you can take out this coffee bean holder, just like this. And clean this out um, weekly. I would do it daily just in case, just to keep your machine functioning as normal. And this guy just slides right back in and then you would lock into place. You can preset your coffee ground beans, coffee beans. If you have the larger ones, you can set it to that. Um, we keep it on standard. Okay. And then up here is where your coffee beans are stored. So I'm gonna tip the machine over so you can see. So right here is where your coffee beans will go into and then your coffee grounds. Um, both the machines have the same compartments, but they do hold different um, capacities. The 5300 is a smaller machine. It is a little bit more compact, so it's not gonna hold as many beans as the 6350. Also, the water spouts are different. So this one, you have a much more smaller one compared to the 5350. Just like that. And these guys slide in super easy super easy to use and clean. So 
those are the really main differences between these machines. They do operate the same. You can still customize your drinks, add users, um, change the settings to however you would like it. Um, they do still dispense the hot water or hot milk and the foam plus the coffee or espresso, whatever you put into it. So now we're gonna go more in depth with this one and actually make a cup of coffee for you guys. Okay, so now we are gonna make a drink using the 6350. Um, let's make a cappuccino. So we're gonna go ahead and push this button right here. It's gonna start preheating the water. All right, now it's gonna do the milk froth. Um, what's really nice about this is it's pulling milk from this little container right here. It's gonna pull it through the tubing, creating the foam. And then after it's done, it's gonna push the milk back into the cup so that you don't have any um, milk residue left in the tubing. And look at that foam. And you can press stop if you choose to cancel the drink. Say you press the wrong button. So now it should be grinding the beans. And it's gonna be dispensing the espresso now. And if you needed to, you can separate this into two cups. There's a little two cup button. So if you have um, two guests or your husband or significant other, you can put that next to it and it will make two of those drinks, which is awesome. You can also do your coffee pots if you'd like. Um, to customize your drinks, you would press the little button where the person is and you can go in and customize each, each drink. All right, so there you have it. Now we have a cappuccino, perfectly separated. And there you have it, that's Amila. Um, you do have options, I will show you that, I'll go into that now. So right here, if you were to press this one, you can change the language, the time. You can put a timer so it automatically shuts off. You have eco mode, lighting, info, system lock, water hardness. So we do recommend you using filtered water and not tap water just in case, um, just because certain areas have a more filtered water than others. Display brightness, volume, cup heating. There's a lot of other settings that you can do. It's very customizable. Um, if you were to go here, you can change the parameters of the coffee or whatever you're producing. So the cappuccino, um, you basically can stop the milk from, so you can choose how much milk that you want, how much espresso you want, or how much foam you want. And then right here, if you were to press that button, that selects two drinks. So you have two water spouts right here. You could put two separate drinks inside. Right here is um, where you can customize the drinks as well. You can create your profile, so customize each drink. So you can choose a cappuccino and make it more dry or more wet um, compared to like any of your other drinks. So these are the Mila coffee makers. All of Mila's coffee makers will produce the same product and work the same. If you have any other questions, um, you can contact us via chat on our website. You can call us or email us. I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this coffee. Pat, can you put me outside, please? Happy brewing.